Hi, it's Andrea from Elite Leadership Coaching by Andrea. Wanted to share a couple of quick tips with you today about building influence. But before I get into that, I wanted to make a really important distinction about leadership. There are informal leaders and formal leaders. And as I've worked with my informal leader clients, one of the things that they first grapple with is, why should I learn about leadership? Why should I increase my leadership intelligence? I'm not a leader. Uh, and so one of the things that I always encourage um, my informal leader clients is, we are all leaders. We all have a responsibility to demonstrate leadership behavior, whether we're in a formal leadership role or not. And by doing so, uh, we are operating at our best. The people that are around us uh, can operate at uh, their best. And, and most of all, the organization uh, can really benefit from us being at our best, whether we're in a formal or informal leadership role. So I want to make that distinction in particular as we talk about building influence um, because, again, uh, oftentimes people that are informal leaders uh, don't really understand that they too can and should build their influence um, in order to uh, have greater team performance, to meet goals, uh, to boost morale. All of those things are benefits um, from having influential people sort of show up to work every day, regardless of if they're in a formal or informal leadership role. Uh, and so I want to share three really quick tips with you about building influence. So the first is, uh, and it sounds really simple, um, and so people may underestimate the power of it, uh, but having a great work ethic consistently uh, is really important for building influence. And so that looks like showing the work up on, uh, showing the work, showing up to work on time consistently, doing great work, uh, high quality work, uh, communicating when um, there is a success or a challenge or asking questions about the expectations of a project or a goal. Uh, so having great communication. And uh, for people that are in uh, a formal leadership role, uh, people want to follow people that uh, have a consistent good work ethic and so if your work ethic is consistent and dependable um, people will be motivated and inspired uh, to go right along with you um, and so regardless of if you are already in a formal leadership role or not having a good work ethic is really important and really Probably uh, the higher you are up in an organization, the more important it is for you to demonstrate having a great work ethic. Uh, and so that means, you know, you don't want to take advantage of your influence and power by, for instance, uh, frequently coming into the office late, um, you know, without perhaps a communication, you know, that I'm going to be late today or I have a meeting before I come into the office, uh, having a good work ethic across informal and formal leaders uh, is, is, a, is a very basic foundation, strong foundation for building influence. Really important. Um, second, I want to talk about value alignment. And so small and large businesses typically have values that they want their employees uh, to work by. And so people that take that very seriously, um, you know, they live and work by those values uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, project by project basis, communication by communication basis, uh, can count on their influence being built. People will look to uh, people that are in congruence with those values um, for stability, inspiration, motivation uh, to be able to get the job done. Um, and so from a company perspective, it's really important for companies 
uh, to always keep company values at the forefront of the um, uh, of the organization's mind and so that means it's a part of newsletters memos um, perhaps the reward and recognition ceremony um, or or awards are based on people uh, that demonstrate the company values on a consistent basis and then from a staff member perspective formal or informal leader uh, you want to do as much as you can, as often as you can, uh, to reflect and demonstrate and work by example of those values. And in doing so, uh, influence comes along with that. And then the third thing I want to share with you is this concept called centrality, uh, in which it makes reference to um, sort of having the information uh that is pertinent to the organization. So being in the know, yeah, for lack of a better word. And, and frequently for people that are uh, in an in informal role, uh, clients, um, you know, sort of struggle with this one um, because in their mind, it's like, um, if I am not at a certain position in the company, how can I be in the know? And so I always strongly encourage uh, informal leaders, you know, you want to read and soak up as much as you can. Any information communication that comes out um, from the company, you want to read it. Uh, weekly newsletters, monthly newsletters, or however often they come out, memos, annual reports, uh, anything that comes out, you want to make sure that it doesn't just sit in your inbox, but you actually read it. And so as people are talking around the water cooler, uh, I heard this, or did you hear this, or do you know that? You can be the person in the room that says, you know, I read the, the memo, or I read the newsletter, or in the annual report it said, people then recognize that you are consistently doing those things, uh, and so influence comes along with that. Uh, the other thing that, and it's really important, formal leaders or informal leaders uh, for centrality's sake is to have diverse relationships across the organization. And so that means, um, you know, having relationships on in different departments, on different teams, and at different levels of the organization. Uh, and so if you are in an informal role, you want to know as many people as you can across the organization. You want to know, um, you know, supervisors, managers, directors. You want to, of course, have great relationships with your colleagues. And then if you are already in a leadership role, uh, regardless of the level, manager, supervisor, director, executive, C-suite, you too also want to have relationships across departments and teams and levels of uh, the organization. And so you don't want your network to just be with other leaders in the organization. You want to have really great relationships with people that are in informal leadership roles as well. And so those are the three tips I wanted to share with you today about building influence, uh, good work ethic, value alignment, and centrality. Uh, I'll drop in some additional tips to help build your influence in the next uh, few days. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you have a good uh, rest of the week and I will see you on the other side soon.